Hello, dear friends. Epic means great, glorious, or out of the ordinary. Opinion piece, epic. Rough ride, invisible hand. Good versus evil. The next 40 days. October surprise. Decline of empire. Near death experience. Aftermath of the eclipse. No peace for the wicked. The night is about to end. Trump says it's too late. Destruction of the old God. The awakening will intensify. No one will remain impassive. No one knows what is coming. It would last until spring 2025. Predictions of the storm rider. It would happen between 2024 and 25. The most important change of millennium. Let's start. Juan Osabin says it's going to get epic. We are going to see how things intensify and get crazier. We will be surprised by the events that happen one after another. He said you have to keep a cool head because Things seem to come out of nowhere, one after another. Since it's a game of chess, it's hard to know what exactly will happen. Each side makes a counterattack, but at time, as time goes on, the options for moves become fewer and fewer according to Jessinger. The phrase, it's going to be epic, means that something is about to become very exciting impressive or great. It is used when a situation, event or activity is predicted to be memorable or extraordinary. Epic comes from epic, a literary genre that narrates great deeds. So the term also implies something great. In short, this is said when someone expects that what is coming will be spectacular or out of the ordinary. Prediction. The storm rider foresees what will happen in the coming months and speaks of internal conflict. The hottest places are California, Texas and Florida. The problem would be South America gangs like the Aragua train that have heavy weapons provided by Iranian soldiers. He says that a near-death experience of civilization is coming and that there will be no elections in 2024, but in 2025. The dark side is planning to create chaos, but the uniformed men are preparing to prevent it. The predicted chaos would last until the spring of 2025, when it, it is assumed that the good guys will have taken over. Nothing happens without the intelligence behind the scenes that is setting the stages and the stage and preparing the world for the revelation of the Great Awakening and the mass movement that shakes the earth. We are seeing the most important operations of the millennium that are going to reshape the public sphere. What happens in the empire is going to happen in the rest of Western countries. There is no escape from justice for the bad guys. Infiltration instead of invasion. Trust the plan. Interpretation. What I think that means is that the tax side is in a corner and the coalition now knows what moves they can make because there are only a few options left. Remember that epic is not always about grand deeds. Sometimes it is the shared moments and the laughs that really count. Get ready to experience something unforgettable. Juan Osabin also says that the second attack, attack may have been allowed to eliminate some of the players or bad actors. So my opinion is that there will be not an election as we might think but an election will be made somehow. One or two false flags could be thrown into the picture by those who just want to stay in power at any cost. 
we could be hitting for the October surprise and even this month some strange things. The October surprise is a term that refers to an expected event that occurs in October, obviously, just before the presidential election and has the potential to significantly influence the election outcome. There is the spiritual aspect to be added, especially with all the prophecies that seem to point to right now. God will forgive us and the more we pray and do good things and small sacrifices, the less we will have to go through. If we all separate ourselves from each other for a few days while things continue, let us keep each other in our prayers and perhaps we will soon see a better life when God is worshipped again as he should be. Freedom without war and everyone thriving instead of struggling to get by. Battles. Will the next 40 days focus on the political battles that lie ahead or will it be a time of division? It's about Donald Trump versus Kamala's, Kamala Harris or it's about choosing between good versus evil. Sundance asks, over the next 40 days, we will enter into a long fight in which the loudest voices will seek to win only by volume, so often repeated by the, stream, by the, by the mainstream media. Yet, time and time again, those who were being yelled at were at, excuse me, yet time and time again, those who, are, who were being yelled at were right at along. Maybe we see what is happening, but it is scary, complicated and confusing. If we admit that we can see it, we become responsible. The Union is doing everything it can to stop change, but it is failing. The harder they push, the more people see what is happening. What we are witnessing is the destruction of the old God. No one said it was going to be easy. The swamp is fighting back, but it is losing. One thing is certain. Whatever happens in the next two months, it's going to be chaos. So fasten your seat belts. We are in for a bumpy ride, says Josh Eaton. According to Ariel Proletario One, what we have listened is the Python approach. It refers to a methodical, slow, and strict investigative, investigative strategy, much like the way a python constricts its ray. The idea is to gradually get closer to a target over time, gathering a series of evidence or clues to build an overwhelming case, leaving the suspect with little room to escape. Look or Luke 12, 51, 56. In quotes, do you think that I have come to bring peace on earth? I tell you, no, but division. From now on, five in family will be divided against one another, three against two, and two against three. They will be divided, father against son, and son against father, mother against daughter, and daughter against mother, mother-in-law against daughter-in-law, and daughter-in-law against mother-in-law. Close quotes. Decline. According to Morgan from CGI or Poet Doc, there is a moment in the decline of an empire due to Mr. Apocalypse, where things go wrong and then get much worse. The current situation is no different that, than Rome long ago. Sure, the appearances and technology are different, but the principles are always the same. The more weather was in sharp decline, there was Tiberius, Caligula, Claudius, 
and then Nero. Whenever bread and circuses appear, it is a sign that culture is in sad decline. Material culture, when at its peak, always draws a crowd. No one knows what is coming, except a few who don't speak. People should seek the quiet center of their being. They should try to connect with what is coming in and in a way. What is coming is going to sweep the human heart and mind throughout the world. Good and bad people will taste it, and many will be converted accordingly. Others will seal their fate. The games are reached, so, but so is the cosmos. And when the heavenly alarm clock rings, there will be many diverse reactions. Make peace now. Trust the source of all good things you see your need to see your needs. The awakening, which is only in its initial stage, is going to be dramatically intensified. No one will be left unmoved. All of humankind has a common connection to a world that it cannot see and to a power that is completely unaware of in many cases. Unaware of in many cases. That power is going to be the broadcasting in all languages at any given time. But not everyone is going to be hearing the same thing. The message is tailored to the level of our humanity. It doesn't matter what the temporal forces try to do against humanity because they will not succeed. Unfortunate events might happen, but they would be thrown out and become insignificant compared to what, to what the visible hand is doing. The invisible hand is doing. There has never been a better time to seek the inner dwelling. The purpose of all agencies is to divert attention from what is happening within. Effects. Why is the Earth's core acting strangely? It is changing due to the shift in human consciousness, according to Cryon through Lee Carroll. Do not resist the change. The expansion of consciousness as it, as it is occurring with the love of the Creator. You are awakening to a new dawn, for the darkest night is about to end. It's time for you to return to your stellar origins, says Keshrash. The awakening process will continue to accelerate and things may seem more chaotic. However, this is only the transmutation of dense energy. Expect greater energy flow with different alignments of the stellar bodies. As you do the necessary work within yourselves, this will also have an impact on the collective, says Gersherash. After effects of the lunar eclipse by Natalia Alba. During this species eclipse and beyond, many of you have received an activation like never before on your ascension journey. This eclipse revealed all that we need to heal, unify and cleanse. Exhaustion. In quotes, I am bone tired and I realized that I need to be quiet, says Jenny Shields. The climax for this movie by Jeff W. It has been many years since most of us volunteer to be humanitarians in, on this journey. At first, we have no idea about the QFS or the plan that has been brewing for many years. It has been an exhausting and frustrating roller coaster for most. Importance of staying calm, centered and controlled in these times by Steve Jiko, Biko. I think at a time like this, we need as much self-control and restraint as we can master, and all the support we can give each other to stay calm, grounded and moderate. Don't go to extremes, make decisions in the heat of passion, or take extreme and inflexible positions of important issues. That closes spaces and leaves no room for love. The enemy's greatest weapon, according to William S. 
Doubt can destroy the best strategy, sink the best battleship, ground the fastest plane, and subdue the bravest soldier. When you go on a trip, children ask, are we there yet? They don't realize that it takes time to reach a destination. It takes a lot of people, effort, courage, determination, money, intelligence, planning, foresight, wisdom, and a great deal of discernment to wage a silent war against evil. Europe. The European Parliament interrupts, interrupts someone speaking about Ukraine, then makes statements claiming to support freedom, speech freedom. Russia rolls out participating in the second peace summit on Ukraine. Ukraine is on the verge of losing the war and is putting everything it has against Russia in a last-ditch effort to avoid defeat. British national debt hit a record 100% of GDP for the first time since the 60s. A British school allows a student to identify himself as a wolf. Italy moves towards chem chemical castration for rapists and pedophiles. USA. Woman arrested for eating a cat in Ohio. Another cat lost in Yellowstone travels almost 900 miles to reunite with its owners two months later in Roseville, California. Trump says it's too late for a second debate with Harris. FBI reveals Iran hacked Trump campaign materials and gave them to Biden and Harris. Bill Gates launches new Netflix series outlining mass suicide plan for global human depopulation. The, home, the homeless population in Los Angeles, the most populous city in California, has seen significant growth in recent years, with more than 119,000 people living on the streets or in shelters. High housing costs, lack of affordable housing and economic inequality have contributed to the rising numbers. Americas. Six magnitude earthquake hits Argentina. The earthquake was, was also felt in Chile. Migration and arms trafficking, Mexico's agenda at the UN. The next Mexican government plans to increase foreign direct investment. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.